Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Lambda functions to ensure that your security group is not modified by any unauthorized person. Let us say there is a new rule has been created in the VPC that you want to monitor. We can use the CloudWatch events to trigger Lambda function and that Lambda function will verify that whether the rule was originally there or it was newly created. And if it was newly created, then it will automatically delete it and it will send a notification. In case if you want to get notified through SNS or an email notification, that is also possible. So for doing this demo, we need a couple of prerequisites. Let us go ahead and see what they are. So basically we need AWS CloudTrail to be enabled in the region which you want the solution to be deployed. And next thing is we need a VPC and a security group in that VPC that we would like to monitor. And finally, an IAM role, which will have permissions to delete the security group. So the command or the script for running the Lambda function has been written in Python 2.7 and the code is also being given here. So let us go to our AWS console and start configuring them. So as you can see here, I am in my CloudTrails dashboard and I have a configured uh, CloudTrail. And if you have not done it, watch my video on how to configure a CloudTrail in your account. So let me head over to my VPC dashboard. So here I have a default VPC called as Sentry. And inside that VPC, I have one security group and that is also been marked as Sentry. And you can see here there are multiple rules are there for HTTP and other traffic rules are there. So we will use this security group for our purposes for monitoring. And finally, we also need an IAM role. So let us go ahead and create that role. So I am needing an IAM role which Lambda will be using to call EC2 functions. So click on Lambda and then I'm going to say EC2 full access. You can also configure this Lambda function to run with minimal permissions. But for this demo purpose, let us run with full permissions and later we can think of modifying them. So I'm just going to call this rule as SG Sentry role and then I'm just going to click on create. So now my role has been created. Let me head over to my Lambda functions and then start creating the function. So click on create function and I'm just going to call it SG Sentry bot and we need Python 2.7. And for our role, let us go ahead and choose the SG Sentry role. Click on create function. So my function is getting created. Let me add the code for doing that. Click on this SG Sentry bot and it will ask you to scroll down and let it get populated. So it pre-populates with the default code. Let me just delete it and we'll paste the code from the GitHub article. And as you can see here, in the GitHub article, it says that we need to copy paste this code and change the global variables to suit our need. And one of the most important items is if you scroll down, you'll find that we need to create the environment variable with the security group ID that we want to monitor. So if you go to our Lambda function tab here, if you scroll down, you will be having the options to create environment variables. So here I'm going to put in the security group ID as key and for value, I'm going to put in our security group ID itself. So let me copy paste that and I'm going to leave the rest of the fields as default and then I'm going to click on save. So the next thing for us to do is if you go to back to the article, we need to create a Lambda trigger. And in this case, we are going to use a CloudWatch events. So I'm going to follow these instructions from one to six as it is shown here. So let me go back to my Lambda function and scroll up so that we can add a cloud watch event as trigger so when you click on that it asks you to configure it go ahead and click on that and if you scroll down it's going to ask you for the rule name and i'm going to say create a new rule and we are going to call this as sg sentry rule and I'm going to use the same thing as description and here i'm going to use an event pattern and under event pattern, I want to use the EC2 service under which the security groups come in. So let us choose that. And I don't want to do this for all the events that is happening in EC2. I want to do it only for the security group modifications, which can be picked up from AWS API through CloudTrail. 
so under this i'm going to choose operations and particularly i'm going to i'm interested in the egress and as well as the ingress so revoke as well as authorize so these are the two things i'm going to be interested in and ingress so the other revoke as well for that so we ensure that we have trigger we are going to trigger an lambda function for either authorize operation or for an revoke operation so let us go ahead and click on add so that our notification function gets into effect so we are having some unsaved changes as it is showing here i'm going to click on save so that my lambda function picks up any notification triggered by cloudwatch events so the next thing is for us to do is go ahead and test our solution so for testing our solution what we are going to do is we are going to add a security group uh, modification so here there are four rules as of now i'm going to modify this click on edit and then click on add a new rule and i'm going to add an ssh rule and i'm going to add a world read writable so put in there and then click on save and it takes usually about a minute uh, from this moment onwards for lambda to trigger and remove that rule so if i go to monitoring section here as of now you can see here there are no spikes and even if i refresh my screen there are no spikes but we should be able to pick up a spike in about a minute and when we go back and refresh our security group rule it will not be there then you go we have a spike here and if i go ahead and see that there is an invocation count of one i'm just going to see if there are any errors and there are no errors here so let me go back to my security group and refresh my screen and that security group should be default by default removed now so that is how you create a lambda function and ensure that any unauthorized modification is removed automatically by using lambda functions so ensure compliance using automated way and trigger notifications if something like that happens in your account if you have any queries drop down in the comment section i'll be happy to answer them thanks for watching happy learning